Hello everyone. Welcome back to Walking the Candy Aisle. Once again today we have a Kit Kat up for review. Today I am so excited because it is another Japanese Kit Kat specialty right from Hong Kong. This is the Japanese Sake Kit Kat. Look at that, a nice, uh, nice little glass of sake. Mm-mm-mm. Yup, from the Kit Kat store. That's very exciting. I don't know really what else to say about it. It's Japanese sake. Sake, sake, sake. So good, sake. Do you guys like sake? I think it's okay. <laughs> now that I say that, I mean, like, it's all right. It's just exciting because it's like, what a novelty, right? What a novelty. God, it's like, can we make vodka Kit Kats? That would be a good idea. Oh my god, it smells like alcohol. <laughs> It smells like alcohol. It's alcohol and Kit Kat. That's crazy. This can't really be uh, real, right? It's just flavored like sake. It is, but uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't have. I don't. I'm not. I don't have like a ton of experience with sake. It's you know. I guess you know. You go for sushi. I used to live in San Francisco. You go for sushi, and you're gonna have some sake to go with it. Wow, that smell. Crazy. It's crazy. It, it seriously smells like sake. Okay. Hmm. So as usual, it's like um it's like uh for these kind of specialty flavored ones, it's like a white chocolate within this one has like the flavor cream in it, I guess is what is where that flavor is coming from. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it has a bit of a taste. It has a taste kind of like sake. Um, it's a very, it's actually a very, like, sake is actually a good one to a good, um, you know, if you were going to make it flavored like an alcohol, it's actually not a bad one because it has a very distinctive uh, smell. It's like a, it, it, you know, the way it like sort of hits your palate is very interesting, very specific, you know, unlike I would say actually vodka, but like it's, uh, it's interesting. I don't think, I don't know that it's great. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know that it's good, <laughs> but, um, it doesn't taste like actual sake. It tastes like sake flavored cream that's that's more or less what it tastes like it has it does have a bit of that like um that aftertaste that almost alcoholic aftertaste i mean this is not like uh this is not like a liqueur filled you know chocolate that you get at christmas time or whatever um this does not have any actual sake in it so far as i can tell like i don't i don't see any ways this is just flavored like sake um but my goodness, what a weird product. Um, so interesting. It smells like great. Like it's so enticing the way it smells. Even though I'm not a massive sake fan. I wonder though, like take this to the next extension. And obviously sake makes sense because this is, you know, it's from Nestle Japan. It, it, it fits. It's from the Kit Kat store. Like, but if you were to take this to the natural extension, like, and actually try and make alcoholic flavored Kit Kats. What would you make? That's a good question for the comments down below. I might say, let's do, I think a rum. A rum would really be good mixed with chocolate. Don't you think so? Like not a white, but like a dark, like a milk, not dark, but like a milk chocolate. Like, um, you know, maybe, uh, you know, like a Captain Morgan's Kit Kat. I, I don't know, you know. Like, you know, one of those, like, big brand sort of, you know, Bacardi sort of Kit Kats, right? That you'd, that, like, I could see that being a good mix, don't you think? I don't know that vodka would work. I think it would be a little, a little strong. You'd end up with something like this. It's not quite, doesn't quite do it. Um, but then again, you know, if you're talking about, like, uh, I don't know, something that, like, specific cultural sort of thing then i mean obviously this makes sense for japan right like 
I don't know, you're in, you're in Canada, you, you get Crown Royal, you know, you're in the States, you get, I don't know what you get, you get, uh, what do you call, um, what's that Tennessee whiskey, whiskey, <laughs> you know the one, <laughs> Jack Daniels, <laughs> um, you know, or, uh, or, or Soco or something, or I don't know, Jim Bean, I don't know what the American one would be. But, like, there's, like, a liquor that's kind of, like, a, a known liquor that's, like, you're, you know, a lot of countries are known for. Um, uh, and, uh, and you know, it makes sense. Like, maybe you're in France. You get a wine-flavored wine. That's insane. <laughs> a wine-flavored <laughs> Kit Kat. That's kind of, that's kind of bananas. But, uh, you know, you know, there, I could see it working, at least as a novelty, as a practical sort of day-to-day, -day, this is nothing that would ever... I d doubt this could ever even make it on the shelves in Japan. But, uh, you know, then again, they they do uh, have some very specific kinds of tastes over there. So perhaps, perhaps. I don't think that even, um, you know, even if you had uh, a rye, <laughs> rye whiskey-flavored uh, Kit Kat that it would sell here in Canada. <laughs> really. Because, you know, alcoholic candy. It sounds, it's like a great idea on paper, but when it comes down to it, I just don't know. Still, pretty exciting to find this, pretty exciting to try it. Um, Walking the Candy Isle is going to rate the Japanese sake flavored Kit Kat. I'm going to rate it a three out of five. Doesn't quite cut it for me. It's kind of a low three, um, but uh, pretty exciting just from the novelty standpoint. I guess that's it. And that's really why you'd make this thing. All right, guys, you let me know down below in the comments, is there an alcoholic candy or an alcoholic flavored candy or chocolate bar that you guys really like and recommend? What do I need to try that I maybe haven't tried before? Let me know down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, this is an interesting one. Definitely, definitely interesting. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate your time. I will talk to you next time. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.